There's an astronomical event not seen in many lifetimes is edging closer. The big part about this event is that Kentucky will get a front row seat. And Wave 3 meteorologist Brian Godu always has his eye on the sky, explains it to us. I admit it, I am a science junkie. And coming up on August 21st, 2017, for all you other junkies out there, you're going to witness something that many of us have only seen on YouTube. I think this will take a lot of our area by surprise. I don't know that everyone knows how big this will be. The eclipses are big deals. And across the world, you know, we've are familiar with how much of a tourist draw they can be. Not just any solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse on August 21st, 2017. On that day, the moon will pass directly in front of the sun, casting a shadow onto Earth, a shadow that has not covered this much of the United States since the early 1900s. But there's one spot on Earth that will experience that shadow for the longest period. And that point happens to be right on the northwest side of Hopkinsville on this farm. And at 1.30 in the afternoon on that August day, you will need a flashlight just to get around. The sky will basically turn to night since there's no sunlight that's blocked by the moon. The stars will come out. The temperature will get cold like it does at sunset just a bit. Um, and the sun will be blocked in the sky and we can see the stars for about two minutes and 40 seconds. That is 40 seconds longer than it takes to complete a running of the Kentucky Derby. A huge event for this town of 32,000, three hours southwest of Louisville. We knew we needed to get some things rolling and started here so the community would be ready in 2017 when the eclipse occurs. Louisville is expected to lose about 96% of the sun that day, less to the north, more to the south. And if you missed this one, don't panic because just a few years later, on April the 8th, 2024, another total solar eclipse will affect our area. Now the date, August 21st, it may sound familiar to some of you. While working on this eclipse story, I discovered an interesting twist that raised my eyebrows, not only of myself, but of famed movie director, Steven Spielberg. It, it was frightening. It, it was like I tell people, it was actually an American horror story. Horror story indeed for one Kentucky family, the Sutton family, all 11 of them gathered in their house one evening the year 1955, the date August 21st, the same date as the expected eclipse, and only moments away from ground zero of darkness. It was just after sunset, less than a quarter of a mile down this road in Kelly, Kentucky, where Mr. Sutton went out to the well to fetch some water. Shortly after that, a night of terror began for the family. Sutton says he witnessed a large object in the sky, ran into the house and alerted his family. Nobody would believe him but they believed him later on because it wasn't very long after that, little things started coming up to the doors and windows, peeking in at them like they were trying to get in. The little things were later described as three foot beans with big glowing eyes, huge ears, and long arms down to the ground. The family reacted, grabbed guns, and started shooting. Shoot one out of the tree or shoot one off the fence. They were just popping up, and it was like three or four of them. The family was taunted until around 11.15 that night. When Sutton saw the chance to escape, he made a run for help. But when help arrived, nothing found but dozens of bullet holes in the home and what was later described as a glowing substance on nearby bushes. But when they would walk up to it, it would like go away. But when they'd walk away from it, they would see it again. Authorities left the property and the creatures returned until sunrise. The family moved 14 days later. The incident led to inspiration for Hollywood. Director Steven Spielberg has noted that the Kelly incident helped him in creating creatures like E.T. and Gremlins. But now the date shares the same as the approaching eclipse, leaving many spooked. You know, in a way, there's still a fear. You don't know. They could come back. Whether it's the science of the upcoming eclipse or the popular alien encounter that intrigues you, no matter what, many eyes will be on Kentucky that August afternoon. Working for you, Brian Good, Way 3 News. I'm not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> you got five you got, years. Yeah, five years to prepare. <laughs> no, it's that what happened in the 50s. That, who knows? That could happen tonight. We'll no, see. Okay, Let you're us right. know if it does. It would be five years from now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming back. I don't know. We'll the see secret how. secret of darkness. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. <laughs>